Bobby Oglesby, he has officiated two national championships, Don Daly, Patrick Evans. That is who is on hand today in Rocky Top. Tennessee looking for the season sweep against Kentucky. And the Volunteers control the tip. And they go, right here. Think it goes a little, minute, minute. Well, they dribble drive. Got to keep this kid out of the lane, Bird. Ziegler leads the SEC in assists. That's going to be one of the seniors outside. Adu, he's been shooting it with confidence. And Kentucky getting physical early. That's going to be a huge key here, Grant. And that's something that's, so, excuse me, and Grant and I were talking about it. They've got to contend with some banging and some bruising. And right here, the elite offense of Kentucky versus the elite defense of Tennessee. Kentucky has scored over 100 points in two of its last four games. But the error you mentioned is starting a lineup. He can be physical, can be a presence, and a good driver. Shot clock winding down. Edwards really shooting it with assertiveness. And it's been a new player since the last time these two teams have played. He has arrived, Bird. A lot of activity. Ball screen staggers. Connect. Drive. Dish. That ball was tipped out of bounds and last touched by Kentucky. And you talk about his improved play, playing with confidence as of late. A little ball fake there. Nice arc on the shot. Edwards has the task of also guarding Connect on defense. That presentation down the lane by Ziegler. He is tough off the bounce. Ziegler, high arcer. Short nice rebound. Rebound denied on Yenso. Return to sender. What a presence. James had it gummed at the rim. Leaves the push shot. Doesn't get the roll. Knocked up in the air. Controlled by James. Knocked out of his hands. And a foul on Fierro. Well, Wagner going left is so quick on that last go to the rim. But how about this present? <laughs> talk about a confrontation at the rim right there. All Not ball. afraid at all. All ball. Yes, so rim protecting at his best averaging 2.6 blocks per game james had big numbers as did ziegler in the first meeting between these two teams see how they strung that out and they are doubling connect and why not what a presence he's been and early on just a little bit of confusion offensively for tennessee you wonder if all the emotion mm -hmm. senior night that happened before the game ceremony was just before tip standing ovation for the seniors introduced started out with the student managers walk on and then the three standouts i was the only senior not injured <laughs> <laughs> that's a halftime ceremony bill and they were expecting full court pressure and they got it two nothing lead for kentucky john calipari recognizes that Tennessee was just more physical than them in the first meeting and has stressed that to his team throughout the week I Like Edwards coming to his left hand as he got that jumper earlier He pinned that the arrow the spin And a travel Turnover Kentucky and guys. That's what Tennessee does. They play so physical with pressure They get you out of your comfort zone good defense And the arrow just ah, He lost yeah. the pivot foot like Raph late at night. <laughs> that would be a post-game ceremony. <laughs> that could be a stagger lead. Kentucky up by two. Tennessee looking to get on the board here. Two minutes and change gone by in the first half. This guy's got to get called Vescovy. Does so many good things. Connect. Rejected on Yenso, the long arm of the law. Tennessee gets it back. Connect. That won't go. Five on four if they push. Connect finally gets off the deck. Reeves has been fantastic for Kentucky in his senior season. Lined it up, Sorry. Wagner. It's an air ball. He has been shooting it better. Yeah, but you can get a better shot than that from DJ Wagner. But Wagner, but look at this block right here. The extension, the length. I mean, Kinnick has a high release point on his shot. Gets great elevation, but tremendous defense. 7-5 wingspan for Ugana on Yenso. There's that floppy set. They like to pick. Connery put it on the board. And they were trying to force him one way. That good collaboration elapsed defensively by KY. Freshman Wagner hands to the senior Reeves. Mitchell is in there for Kentucky. Loop it. The jump shot doesn't go for Edwards. And it's controlled by Connect. Oh, nice job. Connect a little bit out of control, saves it. Nice cut here. Give and go. Connect. He got caught in no man's land. And Kentucky comes away with it. And Mitchell in the right spot. Good help.
Edwards thought about attacking. Good cutoff there by Vescovy. Wagner, circus shot. DJ Wagner gets to the cup. He is so good. Attacking the tip. Very crafty. And was absolutely in attack mode there for Kentucky. Foul out front as Ziegler made the pass. Wagner was there defensively. This this intrigues me as we as we check the neck out using that bump, getting those puppies organized and drilling it. They've got two future stars coming off the bench. You know, and relishing it. For, Kentucky. It reminds me of 2015 with Devin Booker. You know, Tyler Ulis who's on the bench right now as an assistant coach, but that team with great depth. This team finally getting healthy, Kentucky. Must be Cal's charm that keeps them <laughs> happy. Here's Ziegler, one-on-one -on -one against Dillingham, who just checked in. Good protection. Vescovy misses off the heel. Rebound. James has got it for Tennessee, so they got a reload. Adu with a nice shot, keeping it alive. He's got a little game in here now. Adu drop step with a left. Doesn't go. Tennessee is one of eight from the field. Dillingham has next level speed. Mitchell lines it up. Air ball. Scooped up by Vescovy. Tennessee was looking to run. Good floor balance from Kentucky. Good closeout. Connect the floater. Doesn't go, but a foul. That's what makes him attractive. With beach it deep and put it on the deck and explode. Free throws for Dalton Connect when we return. The stars are out. Connect. Who just has been connecting all oh, season say it, and say it. connect all the dots and let, let's throw them all out there. Throw them out all out there, but this team has a legitimate chance and not just an appearance at the Final Four, but bringing a championship to Knoxville. And they have not lost their physicality either. And the one thing they really jam it up opposite, really on help side defense is excellent. They've made a couple changes here. Tobe Awaka is in, and so is Jamai Meshack. Two great defenders with some physical play as well. well. Tennessee is one of eight from the field, yet we are tied at four. Shepard and Dillingham, as mentioned, that talent that John Calipari has at his disposal off the bench. Dillingham, that one will rim in. A fend off and Dillingham indicating the defender was too small to handle it. He might have been right on that play. This kid can flat out score. Elite creativity with scoring. A Waka with a big time duck in. It's a prevail. Ball was popping here for Tennessee, and now Meshack will get Connect involved with 14 to shoot. A lot of switching, one through four. Here we go again. Ziegler had 26 in the first meeting. The big showed for a moment. Meshack, penetration, the floater is off. I thought they had an opportunity to get Connect on the mismatch at the box. Taking the baseline, Reeves is fouled by Ziegler. The new season of Halo is now streaming exclusively on Paramount Plus. Watch Master Chief and his team of Spartans take on an alien threat to save all of humanity in the Paramount Plus original series, Halo. I have a question for both of you. Who would you say is the top player on Kentucky? Oh, I thought it was a question about Halo. No, no, no. <laughs> we'll get to that this <laughs> uh, Reeves, probably the MVP. It's amazing. But I, I would agree with you totally. He may not be the best player, but the most valuable indeed. That's a Duke education. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> that's that's just one. Duke, Duke, Duke LaSalle. It's the same. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to track how many Duke mentions between now and the national championship game from Bill Raftery. Yeah, that was my safe school. Well, for my sake, you know, ho hopefully plenty of mentions. Meshack is called for the foul. But to your point, Raft, Dillingham and Reed Shepard right now are projected to be high lottery picks. So while Reeves has played himself into the conversation, the other two are looked at at a different level in terms of just pure talent. And I think the other end of all of the talent is the speed at which they cut the screen. And they really have a good understanding of reading through with the player. Offensive rebound for Mitchell, the transfer from West Virginia. Reeves could really shoot it, and that one bangs off the rim. It's cleared by Awaka. Ball doesn't stick. Ziegler. Oh, chance for four. Ziegler buries it. And it's going to the free throw line. Second foul, I believe, on the Billy Hit. Well, obviously, you like the aggressiveness of closing out, but you just have to be smart right there. Ziegler pulling up. Dillingham trying to contest, gets in his airspace. And once again, Ziegler played so well in that February game. 
It's a big time shot for the Volunteers. This kid has a charm about him. Saw him early in the year against Michigan State, and that benefit for Maui, the people in Maui, after that terrible disaster. Uh, his work habits, uh, his impact on this program. And I think his style of play is influenced the way Rick wants to play. You say that he's the barometer for this team? Pretty close, yes. A walk of the offensive rebound. Back to back? No, Ziegler missed it. And a loose ball foul going the other way with a push inside. A walk, I think. So Tennessee will get called for it. Changes here as Evisage has checked in. Big Z for Kentucky. And Walker with the foul, you know, he lived two hours from Cardinal Hayes High School. Oh, in New York. Took the train. Did all his studying in the two hours from Hyde Park all the way down. It's an incredible story. And played AAU with Ziegler, so there was some built-in chemistry there as well. DJ Wagner back in. Dillingham on the bench after picking up his second foul. Mitchell been dealing with shoulder issues, uh, myriad injuries over the course of the season, but a big part of Kentucky's success. Tough shot. Edwards tried to bank it and rebounded by Mesha. Under the rest, good job for Ziegler on Reed. Ziegler, oh, the pocket pass. Adu, he lost it. And a foul called. Ivicic was there defensively. And right there, Ziegler just getting into the paint, probing, eyes up, and just a beautiful pocket pass, as you said, Bird. Wow, <laughs> he was able to find that seam there, and Adu able to draw a foul, but just making something out of nothing. Ziegler, seven assists his last game, 34 assists in the last four games, so elevating his play here down the stretch for the Volunteers. Also, Jonas Adu has become a dependable part of their offense. Adu has worked on his mid-range game. Substitution, Jordan Ganey in. He replaces Zakai Ziegler. Yeah. Pretty good offensive performer. Ganey coming in, two birds. Ganey, the transfer from upstate Carolina. Carolina, South Carolina, upstate. Now a junior, first team all Big South last season. And Shepard, one of those guys can stop on a dime and get that three. And a great preparation defensively against him. 9-7 lead for Tennessee. Look at the speed that they cut. Step through, Mitchell clears for Wagner. Six to shoot. Wagner trying to free himself on the drive. That won't go. And the box out by Adu. Big rebound by the big fella. Meshack had been playing the point guard position instead of Ziegler. And now Meshack has settled into the bench role. Ziegler was coming back from serious injury. I think Vescovy's got to look for his shot a little bit more. Power. They get a touch for Awaka. And he's going to head to the free throw line. I mean, you talk about power. <laughs> he ducks in. That's controls. CBS Sports Network brings you the Coastal Athletic Association Conference Tournament semifinals tipping off Monday, 6 Eastern, leading up to the championship game on Tuesday night. That's the 16th foul against Kentucky. We have 13.02 to go in this first half. Could be a lot of free throws for Tennessee. It's amazing when you look at this Tennessee team, how big they are. I mean, their strength coach needs a, a, a pay raise or something because this team <laughs> physically is so big, and you see why they beat teams up physically. We got some cash available. They certainly take it. But in the first game, they got to the fouling quite a bit as well. Because they, they initiate contact, force you into difficult situations. Uh, Waka goes one out of two. It's 10-7 Tennessee. Kentucky is now three of ten from the field. There's that back screen on the center. Great reaction defensively. Shepard using the screen. They run that for Reeves quite a bit. He was able to pick up that dribble because Ganey got a small piece. Shepard pull up pop. Bottom. Knows what to do. Every trip. Great body control. Classic form. Absolute knockdown shooter. 51% from three-point territory. Number one in the country. Nice. Denied the arrow. The jumper of Vescovy. That won't go. Adu couldn't grab it. The arrow controls. Ooh, he may have lost it with the arrow. Wagner keep the ball moving for Shepard. 10-9 Tennessee. And Raph, you talk about pace. You have to play through with pace in the half court against this defense. Get that defense shifting around and attack when the opportunity presents itself. Nine to shoot. Wagner one on one with Ganey. High screen, and that was illegal. Ivicic. 
That was his Z's fault right there. Wagner has to wait for the screener to come, but look at this defense right here. Defender, the length of Kentucky, you don't get close to the chest. You sound like an offensive guy. <laughs> he scored. You want to look at his numbers in college? He was a scorer. Well, according to JJ, it was all plumbers and... <laughs> <laughs> right now, Tennessee has zero points in the paint. There's that little flex curl. Tom Knack, nice out of the timeout. Beautiful. So, Connect checks in and instantly makes something happen for Tennessee. Out of the timeout. Great execution. And a steal. Vescovy towards the rim. It's blocked cleanly. Reeves. Fourth block of the first half for Kentucky. And a foul called Ganey, a reach in against Shepard. I thought at the beginning he may have lost the ball and then the block on that play. Let's see, what do you got? Yeah, I thought he lost it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> you are an offensive guy. <laughs> so Tennessee up 12-9. Screen, a hard one from Bradshaw. Reed gets a good look at it. And nails the triple. And Kentucky needed that right there. This defense really picking up the physicality. But Reeves can score, three level score, big time player. And great without the ball and the footwork. And prep. And how he's developed as an all around player in his two years at Kentucky. Pull up, pop. Doesn't go. George Caney. Good shot, though. Kentucky with a chance to regain the lead. Unbelievable. Book it. It's Reed Shepard automatic. And, Raph, we talked in the, in the last time out. Kentucky's got to get out in transition before that defense can get set. And Shepard did, did that on that play. Nashak on a handoff for Connect. He is averaging 24.6 in SEC play. Incredible. Double team. Connect. He traveled. A walk before. Bradshaw celebrating, forcing the turnover. And that's, the, that's the, been the scouting report. Double team him on any kind of pick and roll action. Bradshaw getting big there, and yes, dragging his feet there. And the foot was out of bounds. Mm -hmm. But I think we got the walk before. The walk was before. So take your pick. It was going to be a turnover either way. Three turnovers on each side. We approach the midway point of this first half with Kentucky in front by three. A little stagger and a pop. The arrow can rise up, and that's rejected by Adu. Back outside. Count it. That kid is so tough. Antonio Reeves cashes in from the outside. Loses screens great. He's got to take advantage. Connect bullet feed. Adu. Ziegler is back in. James lines it up. Rings out. Rebounded by Reeves. This is a 9-0 Kentucky run. Reeves turns the corner. Layup. No! Blocked. Adu. Rebound. Edwards has got it. Bradshaw will take and miss the jumper. Ray does a nice job on that glass. Tough shot early. Goodness. Really deep. Connect misses and it bangs off of Kentucky out of bounds. And that's one thing Rick has learned to do. Live with that on occasion. He'll get in a little groove. Thinks he's going to make it, but pretty reaction. And the blocks on both ends right there. Hey, dude, great timing. Oh, yes. Rim protection on display for both teams here in this first half. Change here for Kentucky on Yenso, who has been a major factor defensively, is back on the floor. 9.27 to go in the first half. Kentucky up by six. That's what this Kentucky do. The gambling outside, too. They got protection deep. Ziegler using that screen from Adu. Nice it up. Right Big finish. Connect. And that's the breakdown you see with Kentucky on occasion. Fall asleep. The one thing I've seen that Tennessee has not done, he's gone side to side. Make the defense move and then attack. Connect may have hurt his hand on the rim on the follow through on the dunk. Just keep an eye on that. Reeves. Off the penetration, and that is swatted away by Adu. What a factor at the rim. That's three blocks now for Jonas Adu. And a and great cut there, and better pass. And connect there, showing that bounce right there. Can score a couple ways, and grabbing his hand right there. It's not his shooting hand, so he'll be fine. Lob it in. Intercepted. Ganey takes it in. Defense 
sequence of play and then the reaction. Kentucky's lead is down to two. They are bringing the heat on this defensive end. The two with A2 in the back. Almost another steal there for Ganey. Crowd on its feet. Outside, Edwards on a stop and go. The face off delivery. Big time. Drop step, spin. Nail it. Justin Edwards. Versatile piece for John Calipari. Deep one. Off the rim, connect. Rebounded by Onyenso. Get it up the floor in a hurry. They got a wide open here. Shepard looked in that direction, and Mitchell will now go to the other side. Shepard tripped on his way to the rim. It looked like Ziegler there tripped Shepard, but that's what you got to attack. Got to attack the pressure of Kentucky on that last play. Uh, jump that pass, he laid out again. Points per game this season. Look at what Dillingham, Shepard, and Wagner have done. Freshmen that they rely on. They, this is not just gravy for Kentucky. This is the meat. And by the way, Josh, <laughs> he can play oh, Mississippi State. Yeah. Uh, offensive foul. Mitchell is trying to pin in that low box area. So before they triggered the ball in, the officials are going to head to them. Mitchell, Burley, stretch four, transferred from West Virginia, played at Texas, played at UMass. He's averaging 11.7 rebounds per game. So that is two fouls on him, Dillingham, and Ivisic also with two. Ziegler has two for Tennessee. And of course, Mitchell and Reeves do bring that experience. We mentioned how young some of these other guys are and talented. And that's why Ziegler is on the bench for the Volunteers. A nice screen, but heady play. Great reaction. Off the hands of Adu, and then a foul called as Onyenso wow. came away with a loose ball. Both great defense there. DJ Wagner anticipating there on that little pass into the post on for Adu and causing a, a turnover. Beautiful screen. Got to help out your big man. And Wagner's active hands contributing to that turnover. 16 fouls now against Tennessee. Four point lead for Kentucky. We had it too. Give it up. Edwards lost it. Gets it back. On a clear. Wagner lines it up. I like it though. Good shot. Shot with confidence. James. Coast to coast. Oh, projected the arrow. Oh, wow. Got another one. <laughs> Kentucky on the move. What a reaction. Reeves outside. Wagner. Nothing for free. Crossover. Reeves fakes it in. What an angle. Great shot, and that's the part of his game that he's improved upon. You talked about that earlier, Bird. I mean, he came in as a shooter, but now can put the ball on the floor and score. And a little upset, Rick Barnes, about their defense. Their reaction, getting a little too deep on the offensive end. Got to learn. They got some shot blockers out there for 6.1 per game. Tennessee has five field goals in this first half. Kentucky number four in the country in that category, blocks per game. And you can see where they can become a good defensive team because of that back line. Jemai Meshack handles it. Vescovy gives it up for Connect. A uh, much better reaction to that little post rubs for Connect. Double up on Connect. Look for the open man. James, ball fake. Sneak it inside. Meshack, corner. Vescovy, it's an air ball. They're going to have to make shots. They're not going to get anything inside. Kentucky with Wagner. We approach six minutes to go in this first half. Kentucky is 9 of 21 from the field. That's 43%. That's twice as good as Tennessee's 21%. Reeves, step back. Off the rim. Connect. Good screen. Vescovy, swing it. Should have taken the floater. Connect. Trying to hunt down a shot. They double up on Connect again. James, fake on a three. Fade away. Doesn't go. They can't buy one. And he does have a solid middle game, too. If you're not scoring, you got to stop. Wagner, kick. Reeves. No good. Offensive rebound. Snap by Fierro. Blocked by Adu. 
out of bounds. And how about the Arrows <laughs> physicality? We've seen him block shots, but on the glass right there, that Scovey could not keep him off. New CBS Wednesday. Who would you bring on the adventure of a lifetime? Join 13 teams of two as they race around the world for a million dollars with 90-minute episodes all season. The Amazing Race season premiere Wednesday, 9.30, 8.30 Central on CBS and streaming. I want to apologize. Now plus. I want to apologize to San Diego. It's Vescovy. Vescovy. Yes. Yeah. I'm still in, you know, NBA mode. <laughs> I'm getting there. If Bird stayed down a little later and I'd take him on one of those tours. <laughs> oh, on the that one? No. Kick. Wagner, the jumper. In and out. Rebound on Yenso. Nice couldn't hit. clear it. Here's Connect. Crossing. Nice defense again. Boy, yeah, this time Kentucky does. Get the foul call as Connect goes towards the rim. He's really forcing the issue a little bit, don't you think? Well, I thought right there, he, I mean, attacking right there off the bounce, his physicality just kind of willed that foul. Wagner's hands got caught in there. Connect, when you're struggling sometimes as an offensive player, getting to the line, seeing that ball go through the basket will help. Second foul on DJ Wagner. Connect. Shooting it at 76%. The story of Dalton Connect, two years junior college, then transfers to Northern Colorado. He does lead the Big Sky in scoring, but he ends up second team all Big Sky for the Bears. Graduate transfer to Tennessee and then explodes in the SEC. Just under 21 points per game. I mean, who made first team Big Sky last year? <laughs> we can look that up. <laughs> we can look that up. You know, he grew over the years and could always handle a basketball. That's the story that Rick has, has told us. Uh, but the, his form on his jump shot, you mentioned the, the point of release, but he's also good using screens. He was five foot eight as a sophomore in high school, so nobody was paying attention. To the rim, and that was this is Rucker Park I mean, rest. at its best. Both teams, I mean, don't go to the paint. No. You're going to get your shot blocked. Oh. Uh, Duke just not fouling there. Great timing. Both teams superior with the interior defense. Hit and follow usually by Shepard. He has five blocks individually. Jonas Adu. 22-18 Kentucky. Under five minutes to go, first half. Edwards, the jump shot, money. Wow, how it's a three. That? How about that improvement? And a Philly. Big time stroke. 25 18. He has been a new player compared to the one we saw earlier in the year. Connect feeds the post. A Waka will clear it. Ganey had the big dunk earlier. There's that dunk that he loves. Nice find. He's been making it. You mentioned that third earlier. Overcooked that one for Adu. Well, how about Kentucky? Keeping Tennessee out of the paint. Forcing him to score from the perimeter. The arrow trying to force his way to the rim. Plenty of time on the shot clock. We approach four minutes to go. First half. Largest lead for Kentucky at seven. Shepard one-on-one. Takes out Meshack. Kick. Edwards again. Yes, sir. How about that? It's a three. Dribble drive, kick. Shepard provides the lift, but he is stroking it big time. Ten points now for Justin Edwards. It's a ten-point lead for Kentucky. From deep, in and out, connect. Rebounded by Onyenso. Dives that one late on the coverage. Kentucky is clicking here, up by double figures. Tierra wants to go one on one. Nice ball fake. Shepard off the heel. Long rebound to Shepard. And Kentucky gets a reload. And Raf Kentucky getting into the paint, getting that defense to collapse, creating those open threes. Shepard just couldn't convert. Reeves, feed it. That's a deep one. In and out. Gang rebounding for Tennessee, controlled by Awaka. It's solid balance by Kentucky here. Connect is hacked. It's been a frustrating first half for Dalton Connect. He'll shoot a pair. Well, for Kentucky, it's been shooting from Justin Edwards here, getting hot, stepping up. But if this defense of Kentucky has kind of rattled Tennessee a bit, very much so. Block shots there in the interior. They've been harping on it and working at it. They have missed their last seven shots from the field. So they are down to 18% shooting. Free throw for Connect. I don't know a lot, but I know you ain't going to win. 
shooting 18% from the field. Well, that's a private school education. <laughs> Vescovy in. Ganey sits. Connect is 3 of 8 from the field. The rest of the team is 2 of 19. Nobody's shooting it well right now for Rick Barnes' team. So you got to tee it up on this end if you're Tennessee to get back in it. 28-20, Kentucky, under three minutes to go in the first half. And a little drag. Shepard, kick, Edwards, wow. bingo, he is red hot. I, th I think you got to stay at home on you him. You can't leave him. Well, I mean, the triple drive they're opening up in the passing lane is available. 13 now for Justin Edwards. By now, one-on-one, -on -one, Edwards against Connect. Gets a good look. Long distance connection. They got to stay in touch with Ziggler on the bench with two fouls, though. They don't have that catalyst. 15 now for Connect. 15 of Tennessee's 23. Reeves so good without the ball. Shepard against Vescovy. Freshman against 50 year senior. All OCC. Five to shoot. Shepard drives, couldn't hit on the baby hook. That's good defense there. Got to be smart, Adam. Force the issue. Connect using the nice split. They'll take it. Oh, he couldn't. Ever. Connect bounces back to him, and that's devoured. But a foul. The arrow. Oh, my. <laughs> Shades of Grand Hill inside there. Oh, man. That oh, right there. Man. First of all, a beautiful split there at that trap. But ooh, challenging the big fella. I love the confidence, the moxie there, and this kid's big time. He is big time. He really time. is. Everybody centered their defense around him. Good physique. Oh, tech mode. Superb. This is going to be free throw attempt number seven and eight for Dalton Connect. Single-handedly just keeping Tennessee connected here as we get late into this first half. Second foul on Fierro, who will sit, replaced by Trey Mitchell. And Bird, last game, we said it earlier, they got to the foul line early. Try to see. Kentucky has two free throw attempts. Tennessee now with 13. They've made nine. It's a seven-point game. A minute 38 to go in the first half. Two fouls across the board for Kentucky. Bunch of players in foul trouble for John Calipari's squad. They got what they want here to switch. Get back on a long two. Reeves couldn't hit. Nice job collectively. Oh, goodness. Connect. Got him. Wow. And he points to the bench from Logo Land. This kid believes in himself. His talent prevailed. 15 of Tennessee's 27 points on 5 of 11 from the field. And guys, he's had four games this year with 35 plus points. Heads the nation in that. You gotta stay attached to him. Well, you were a great player. I mean, you just don't give a guy that much space. Out of the timeout, Kentucky up by four. One minute to go, first half. Reeves keep it busy. He's got a mismatch if they get it to him. He's got a walk. -a. Oh, that's a double. And can Mitchell pick it up? He cannot. He, he slapped it, and it's a backward violation. And obviously, right now, Tennessee picking up the defense. Just like you said, he lost the ball, chopped the box out right there, hoping a teammate would come, but... The defense was so tough. The Reeves had the mismatch they wanted. They didn't have the vision to get him the basketball. And I think Tennessee getting this crowd into the game and turning the screws here defensively. Tennessee has been blowing teams out. Seven-game winning streak. The scoring differential is a plus 18 over that span. He loves this mid-post, and he's got the right guy, too. Reeves, good defense. defense. It bounces off of Connect out of bounds. But I thought there was some contact there. A nice call here to get him right here. Oh, he did lose. Yep. Yeah. Good play. Reeves is deceptive. About 6'6 six, six himself. Think about what those two have done for their individual programs as transfers in the portal. Got to be tough now. Dribble drive and maybe fine. Shepard. Shot nice one down. Good find. Reeves on a pirouette for the layoff. He's so good reading and cutting. Shepard provides the time. 
Shepard comes in averaging four and a half assists per game in addition to his 12 points. Connect, running one-hander, no! Slam down! Adu rocks the rim at the buzzer. Woo-hoo! Adu can do! Anytime you dribble drive, you would track two. Clean it up, big fella. Four points per game in SEC play. The last player to do that in the SEC, Devin Downey back in 09-10. That's the kind of scoring punch Connect has provided in his one year at Tennessee. And he's doing it in a year where the SEC is loaded with Correct. competitive teams. And and Bert, Kentucky's done a nice job on him. Yeah, that's long. a travel. Right. Arrow was trying to maintain that foot, couldn't do it. Uh, you, a lot of people talk about coaches coming out of timeouts with set plays on the offensive end. How about this? Run and jump right at half court. Great control, great denial, coughing it up. It's a four-point game, Kentucky in front. James pulls up. And the guy, the little guy, gets it to him. It's a cut. So the senior... Josiah Jordan James knocks down the triple. Guy, of course, with those two fouls, didn't play much the last five, seven minutes. Big back cut. Back door. Reeves got that one up towards the rim and draws the foul. And Grant, you don't get a better step and look than this, do you? Zakai with the ability. Look at the rotation getting caught. And that's what they were talking about yesterday. Let's get side to side more. Make Kentucky make those adjustments. Good five. Foul called on James. Two free throws here for Reeves, who shoots it at 88% at the line. Transfer from Illinois State. Had the reputation as a top-notch shooter, but the other parts of his game have certainly been apparent in his two years with the program so good without the ball you had 20 points versus Vanderbilt their last game six consecutive 20-point games so Reeves we need to score another 20 here for this team today so those six straight 20-point games the last Kentucky player to do that Jamal Murray he had 12 of them didn't he if I'm not mistaken Adu Put it up over on Yenso, but it's off the rim. Got to get back and cover this guy. Kentucky up by three. The drive leaves under control. It goes in and out. Rebound leaks into the paint. And tracked down by James. The foul yeah. call. It's going to be Wagner picking it up at midcourt. And, Rev, how about this guy, James? Triple J today. Comes out, forces a turnover, the first defensive possession. It's a three. And then gets this loose ball, 50-50 ball. And... All Wagner could do there was foul him. James was off to the races. He really thrives in transition. It's been such a big part of this program, a leader in his fifth year. Father Kurt played at Michigan State. His four uncles who all played college basketball. He gets some numbers, 15 and 14 at Auburn. First touch for Connect. That's going to be ball fake. Wide open. James is James, over. Yeah. Tend to shoot. Got to get a hand up. Got one on drive. one with the big. Nice and that hand. ball tipped by Shepard. He's got quick hands. Scoops it up. Shepard. Cold blood and three. He is tough. What confidence. Nobody at the rim. 15 years ago, you'd be taken out of the game. 38-32. <laughs> Ziegler. Got a little bump. James now. Come back to the... And it bounces off his knee. Another turnover. Reeves forcing the action. Edwards, the stroke is short. And rebounded by James. Connect reached it, got a piece of it. Nice give here for the open look. Connect. Contact. No call. Connect. Attack mode. He's hurt. And the foul. He's hurt, Bird. Connect goes down hard. Boy, he really understands the game. Drew the D with just a little pause. And then the blow by. You were talking before the end about the size and strength when you saw him. Well, the yep. strength right here. I mean, to absorb the contact there, I mean, or maybe dish it out, and then take three people on. The concentration, the touch, and the strength. I mean, this kid right here can get downhill with the best of them. So the foul on Fierro, that is number three on him. He's replaced by Trey Mitchell. He's gathered his senses here with the foul line. For a moment there, Connect was sprawled out on the floor. Trying to convert 
on the traditional three-point play and misses it too long. Adu ricochet controlled by Edwards. Got a squeeze in that lane. Connect is now six of nine at the free throw line. Shepard skip it for Mitchell. Mitchell works his way in, missed on the floater. Dimer there with the reach in. Edwards. So the one thing when you play Tennessee, you've got to go skip passing quite a bit. Drive and find on the other side. They load up so much. No, devastating to get easy looks. So Rob Dillingham will check in for Kentucky. Dalton Connect has scored 21 of Tennessee's 34 points. They trail Kentucky by four. Ziegler, too strong. The hustle. They got a hold. Foul on James there. Yeah. They got grabbed the hold of Reeves, right? So it will be James picking it up. Vescovy hustling over to come up with a loose ball, but Kentucky will take over 17 16 to play in the second half. And, Rev, you made a great point. I mean, against this defense and where they had success was moving the ball and driving into the paint. And that was creating open shot opportunities. But no success here to start the second half for Kentucky getting in the paint. Well, this guy can do it. Dylan Ham. And this guy set it up. And Reeves rising up. Major elevation. He is great without the ball. Anticipates dives at the proper time. 40 to 34. James bangs in a triple. And Ziegler, once again, he created that play. And a little confusion defensively there from Kentucky. James wide open there. 40 to 37 Wildcats. Dillingham one on one with James. Gets Reeves involved now nice with the penetration. Hesitation. Gets the step and draws the foul. I think Connect. Do you see that little stand up? The defender reacts and then you just blow by oh, no. put that shoulder down get on the hip and that's just experience right yeah. now Reeves has that experience knows how to just manufacture baskets and most of the scoring has been in the paint cutting driving and of course getting to the line and he's the only Kentucky player to get to the free throw line here today Reeves is three out of four two Reeves. free throws here after the foul call very savvy Polished offensive game. Finalist for the Jerry West Award for the top shooting guard in all of college basketball. And he spent one season at Shadow Mountain High School in Phoenix as head coach, Mike Bibby. Wow. You played against one. I did. Yeah. He played against me. <laughs> it's all based on perspective. Uh, three, three, two, one. Text from Mike Bibby. Forty-two, thirty-seven, Kentucky. Little overload, little curl, and a pin. Flex action. This gets so. Ziegler with a no-look feed for Adu, who throws it down. Bird, I think that's his third gift to his team this half early. Zick out, everybody. But now Kentucky Dillingham has to get going. Only two points here in this game. Dillingham, the speed, shifting gears, left hand, and a chance for three. And he's just too good. Too good to, to not be a factor in this game. A creative score showing that he can use that left hand. Dillingham. Did you anticipate it in late 80s, 90s? Well, I, I thought it, if it was low scoring, I thought Tennessee would be in control. So I'm surprised that Kentucky is able to play this style of basketball and still be up. Kentucky is averaging 103 points per game over this four-game winning streak and <laughs> shooting it at 56% over that span. Incredible. But Tennessee has been among the best teams in the country defensively. They are number two in the nation in field goal percentage defense, 38%. Kentucky is shooting it right now at 40%. Uh, nice bumps all across the top for the baseline. There's Ziegler, a little shake and bake, and it's denied, blocked by Onyenso. A little steal here, popped up in the air, Ziegler trying to track it down, it gets knocked over to Dillingham. Jumper, Shepard, shooting practice, bottom, he knows how to drill it. Takes advantage quickly, didn't over-penetrate, squared up. And Kentucky is up by nine, this crowd is stunned in Knoxville. 
Shepard is three of five from long distance. They're having a little trouble with the automatic switching, too. Ziegler, he draws the big with him, and find the other big. Oh, oh man, at the apex, on Yenso blocks a two. Can't give him an open lead. Got a three. And Adu was a little slow getting back in transition. Bad floor balance there. Great awareness. Reeves, that trail of three. How about Alenso, though? So superb in that low post. Everything working right now for Kentucky. They're on a 9 nothing run. They lead 51-39. Connect trying to get involved. Fend off. And he put a high floater over on Yenso. That's big time. That was sure that it wouldn't be blocked. Yeah, that wasn't easy right there. That was big time. <laughs> and they needed that point. They needed that. But the defense of Kentucky leading to offense, impressive. 51-41, Dillingham, so good around the rim. And he just tosses it near the rim. Give away on Yenso, I believe. And it will be Dillingham picking up the foul. Not a good one for him, but how about this? The presence, position D. Oh boy, you get some run out opportunities because of it. And Reeves, lighten it up. Boy, his kid is a solid performer, and he's going to blow those fingers. Those are babies are hot. <laughs> it's hot in here. <laughs> On Yenso will head to the Kentucky bench. What an impact he has had defensively for the Wildcats here this afternoon. I've seen a number of their games. This is as good as I've seen him. Particularly on that defensive end. Ivisic is back in. Big Z for Kentucky. Third foul on Dillingham. He can take this guy here and elevate. Trying to clear the floor for him to go one on one. Big size advantage around Shepard and he puts it in. He challenged Ivisic who backed off. Not on the best. He had another gear going to the basket. Like Tom Chambers on Mark Jackson. Ooh. Uh, giveaway here. Don't thought it was clean. And James extending out on Reeves, a foul call. That's going to be number three on Josiah Jordan James. He really seldom says anything. He just plays. He feels it totally. He's pointing up. Look at the high board. And how about this? Pretty impressive. Well, look at this elevation right there. It's like he took it to another level. And of course, Big Z wanted no part of that confrontation there at the rim. But it sends Antonio Reeves to the free throw line where he is five of six today. We wish that one in. Foul trouble. Wagner, Thierro, Dillingham, three apiece. James has just picked up his third. Meanwhile, this is seven straight 20 point games for Antonio Reeves. He's got 21. Seems like every time Tennessee makes a little bit of a run, he just gets a timely basket, gets to the line, a back cut, a three-pointer. To your point, most valuable. Most valuable. And the foul on James, three-point territory, so Reeves gets a third free throw. The lead is 11 for Kentucky. They're 9 of 10 at the line. Under 14 minutes to go. Second half. Overload left for an ISO. Causing the double. Wagner comes over. Ziegler trying to get the step. Now it's Connect with 14 to Ooh, shoot. Right in the face. It's Reeves. Yeah. Nickel Dimer. Final season of Young Sheldon and the show that started with a bang is going to go out big. How will it all end? Every episode is a must-see. Catch a new Young Sheldon this Thursday at 8, 7 central on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. A warning of being out of the box, I think. John, John Calipari is right up against the line of the coaching box. Towing the line. Yep. <laughs> and the warning for Cal... From Don Daly. Kentucky gonna not let Connect isolate. They're gonna run somebody at him. Connect. He can do that. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Dalton Connect with a downtown hit. This looks like the Auburn game right now. 54 46. Wildcats. Shepard gives it up. Wagner off the penetration. That's a deep one. Reeves. Short. Long rebound to Edwards. Nice and help. Ripped James. out of there by James. Alert. Connect streaking up the floor. Makes his move to the rim. Left hand. Couldn't massage it. Out of bounds. Off of Kentucky. And James made that play by following. Got a piece of it. Kept it alive. 
can't give him this much space. You know the double team's coming on these isolations. Reeves giving Connect too much there and then unafraid going at Big Z. And still Tennessee ball, but man, what offense there by Connect. And for that reason, Enzo's on the floor, Bird. Up oh, we got a pass and a foul off the toss in. Connect got shoved from behind. You know the reason for that shove? Baseline out of bounds as they ran against Kentucky the last time. Gave up what, 10 points, they felt. Yeah, they struggled in that first game on those out of bound plays and definitely foul there. DJ Wagner, a nice set for an alley oop for Connect. So, do you think that point was banged home by Calipari and the coaching staff? I, I, I would let it happen again. 100%. Absolutely. They worked through a little bit today. So, that's the fourth. John's going to the center. Center. John Calipari has extended out beyond the coaching box. And a technical has been called on Calipari. The assistant coaches trying to get in there, guide him back to the Kentucky bench. The only thing I feel is he may not have seen the push by Wagner. Couldn't understand it. But he's a, they're in good shape controlling this game. He doesn't need that. Yeah, I'm not sure why he was so upset there. We wanted the Bellingham get in. Let's be one shot and then the ball back out of bounds. So I just heard from Don Bailey here, and basically the warning had taken place. And after the warning, if you continue to push it, they're going to call you on it. And one shot, ball out of bounds. It's an eight point Kentucky lead. Yeah. He was trying to get Dillingham into the game, right? And they didn't blow the horn, and that's what he was responding to. He actually motioned to the scorers' table, was trying to get the attention of the officials, and that's why he extended out towards midcourt. Well, he's trying to get Wagner out of the game, who has four fouls, picked up that fourth on that last play. And Dillingham is now in. Look at this train. Connect. Too strong. Big rebound again. James. It's James. Nice Clear kick. It. Ziegler. Short. And it's rebounded by Reed. One more pass he had. The big fella connects. And that was wide open. Kentucky leads it 54 to 46. 12.38 to go, second half. Terrific battle in the SEC regular season finale for both of these teams. Dillingham slips a bit. Can go left, beautiful. Feed it. Shepard. Got it. Unbelievable. And Dillingham on the money with the delivery, too. The knockdown. 11 point lead. Connect. Off the back of the rim, tracked down by Awaka. That is two three-pointers there with Connect wide open. Must stay Bajan. attached to him in transition. And he just screams here to get that entree. Mayshack rims out on a three-ball. 11-point cushion for Kentucky with possession under 12 minutes to go. Look at the hesitation. Shepard drives a lot of attention towards him. Edwards cans it Ooh, from deep. They're so talented they can create. Rather, Without a pattern. I don't know how Shepard found Edwards right there. He, he knows. Oh. He, he sees things. It is the largest lead of the day for the Kentucky Wildcats. Now in front, 60 to 46. Shepard gets it. Two, and they're patient on the offensive end. Conversely, Tennessee, somehow they're going to get some points in the box area. Whether well, it's a dribble drive or a post up, take the pressure, particularly off of Connect Deep. Yeah, I think James has to really step up, play. If somebody else for Tennessee is going to have to score and have to get some easy baskets against this Wildcat defense. Look at Enzo out there challenging that shot. Tough shot. I, I don't think that's what you want out of the timeout. Tennessee had cut it to three. 42 to 39. Kentucky's on an extended 18 to 7 run after the miss by Ziegler. Tough match for Connect right here. I, I use Reeves. Dillingham behind the back with it. Dillingham goes to the rim, flips it up, no, cleared, outside, Edwards, short. Long rebound, Vescovy steps in front. Get it ahead, James, kick, Ziegler gets another shot at it, and hits. How about three confidence and the give back by James. Ziegler going for the steal and ends up in the crowd. Hope everybody's okay, somebody 
went down in their seat. And, oh, it was a blocking foul. <laughs> Five-star camp. The, the statute of limitations I, I, are up. So. I think the only NIL then was Howard Garfinkel. Yeah. <laughs> you got a free ice cream cone, maybe? Maybe. Maybe. Were you a, were you a waiter? Were you I was. Oh, you were. I was a waiter. Were you a good waiter? Uh, no. <laughs> All right. There's a scouting report on Grant Hill. 60-49, to 49, Kentucky in front. We've got 10.50 to play in this second half. Kentucky, 19 points off the bench. Shepard with 14 of them. Well, staying in front of Goodingham is a difficult task. Shepard one-on-one. -on -one. Step back. Left the jab and jumper for Shepard. Who nails the three. He's just taking over here in the second half. His body control, the way he can get back on balance is extraordinary. Five of seven from deep. Adu is what they need. A little punch inside somehow. In and out. And the rebound is snatched by Justin Edwards. The lead is now 14 for Kentucky. And really, the three-point shooting. Dillingham body bump, blocking foul. I think it's a block. He is so fast. Just turns that corner, drives. They never got in front of him. Best could be, could never get there. But right now, the three-point shooting of Kentucky, 50% from three. Those driving lanes will be there as Tennessee's defense stays attached to the perimeter. Rick Barnes makes a change with Ganey checking in, replacing Vescovy. Vescovy's had a tough day offensively. Vescovy, his scoring numbers are way down from where they once were. Now, obviously, you have a Dalton connect that changes things. They're so good at defending the inbound. It's a five-second call. They couldn't get it in. Auburn is very good. Tennessee is excellent as well. Big guy on the ball. Doesn't get any vision. That's 11 turnovers now for Kentucky. Ziegler one-on-one -on -one with Shepard. Working around the horn, Ziegler. We are past the halfway point. Adu on the bounce from Ziegler. And he flushes it down. Pocket pass. Everybody lifted. Die, but a big guy. The Kentucky lead is 12. Shepard out front. Watched by Ganey. 13 to shoot. Shepard to the rim. With the offhand, Reed Shepard in takeover mode. And the way he holds off, strong at the rim as well. Again, nobody at home. 19 for Shepard off the bench. Connect. One on one with Reeves. Step back, Jay. Connect. He got Hits it from long range. I don't know if he got stepped on on the end of that, did he? Well, that was good defense, but wow. Better offense. 31 for Dalton Connect. Edwards floated. Dillingham's got it. He'll pull up and uh, hit a straightaway tray. This kid is tough. Woo. The freshmen are in control for Kentucky. The, the freshman backcourt off the bench. <laughs> and they don't complain about minutes. They don't complain. 68-54. Wildcats bounce it. Adu drives in and finishes plus the foul. And Yenzo did a lot of work on that play. Tried to play the cutter, then get back on his guy and paid for it. Nice timing and temperament at the rim by Adu. Adu right there. As he rolled, he little shot fake, froze on Yensu there and able to elongate to the rim, draw the foul. And a few times and Yensu was unable to get a block. That 17 fouls against Kentucky. Meshack will check back in. And now Calipari is going to counter with Fierro. You have to think here if he makes these free throw or makes this free throw, extend the pressure. Well, they like to get it uh, get after, but they, they take it off after the initial pass. Adu is now three of three at the free throw line. So you got the, the backcourt. Of Shepard and Dillingham, so hard to pressure with these two. Kentucky up 11. His speed and control. Oh, Dillingham, kick it out, Fierro. Long strides, fake. Reeves with a low dress cross. And Reeves got caught in no man's land, turns it over. Meshack, pedal to the metal. Nice poise. Ziegler goes cross court. Connect! <laughs> you gotta be kidding! Ziegler. Connect. 
from 34 for Dalton Connect. Back to single digits. 7.48 to go. Dillingham one-on-one -on -one with Meshack. The pull-up jump. No good. Rebound. Ziegler, smallest man on the floor, comes away with it. Out of white shirts. Leave it. Connect. Return feed. Ziegler, they need it. They got it. Oh, how about that combo? Nine. Nothing. Run. In Rocky Top. So that's kept them in it. Kentucky... Now in front, 68 to 63 with 7.29 to go here at Thompson Bowling Arena. And here's the pressure. They get out of it quickly. They don't get something early. Shepard feed it in for Edwards. And now Tennessee will back off. The guards are going to have to defend. 19 off the bench for Reed Shepard. Need some help here. Edwards back for Shepard, 12 to shoot. Now it's Reeves. Cross, kick, Dillingham. Shot clock winding back. Meshack, knocked away from Meshack. Turnover, Kentucky. And that is his game. Pressure, being physical in guard. Tennessee down by five. Ziegler the drive. Feed it. Adu, back for Ziegler. Adu lost that ball. Connect! was halfway down. Well, they dodged one there. They did. Edwards with a late closeout against them. Tough, tough out. Kentucky up by five. Good team. So Reeves against James. Dillingham foul on Meshack. Well, you've got to have good lateral foot speed to keep this kid in front of you, Dillingham, but this is that late close. Yeah, Edwards, you have to stay connected. You have to be in his space on the catch too much room there for connect they dodged the bullet there kentucky dalton connects seven thirty point game of the season for him dillingham to the free throw line where he shoots it at 78 percent he likes playing against tennessee gets some numbers in that first game dillingham 35 points he leads the country in bench points this season. Second one here for Rob Dillingham, the freshman from Hickory, North Carolina. And guess who else is from Hickory? Rick Barnes. There you go. I stayed up all night to get that. Huh? Yeah, you, you like to work on the notes really late at night. You stayed up all night, but I don't know about the notes. <laughs> <laughs> I grant it's your first game, but you have so much knowledge. <laughs> A Bill Raftery. <laughs> 70 to 63, Kentucky. 6.20 to go. Don't force the issue. Give it up and get. Connect, sizing up Edwards. Crosses oh, and gets to the rim. On a zigzag. They empty now. Where's the weak side help? 36 for Dalton. Connect. Shepard, pressure from Ziegler. Hard drive, leaves, hangs and hits. And that was tough right there. Getting that contact, great concentration, and great touch for the finish. 25 for Antonio Reeves. 72-65. Connect gets good position. Banks it in. Difficult angle. Vertical two, no foul. But they've been overloading left. Oh, they almost had a violation on the inbounds. Connect's got 38. Shepard knocked away by Ziegler. It bounces right back to Shepard. Dillingham missed it off the heel. Five-point game. Just over five minutes to play. Not a good gamble. The handle by Connect. The block by Ivicic. Boy, he bailed them out. Remember with that gamble trying to steal at half court. Shepard watched by Ziegler. Now Dillingham out front against Meshack. Reeves keeps busy. Decides which... There, nice space. Reeves, baseline on James, gets inside. He is really crafty. His activity is incredible. It is incredible. Man, every time he needs a basket, man, he gets he delivers. 27 now for Antonio Reeves. The lead is seven for the Wildcats. We are under five minutes to play. Connect watched by Edwards. He's going to shoot it really deep. I don't know. Off the back of the iron. That's not a good one. Break opportunity. Dillingham slows it down. Shepard 
thought about it. And now it's Reeves. I like this control here. Reeves keeps busy. No rush for Kentucky. They're down to 12 to shoot. Three perimeter guys can make the three or beat you with the bounce. Shepard feeds it. Activity. Reeves gives it up. Ivicic around the handle. Dillingham extra. Shepard. And these That's young fair. freshmen right here, the awareness to find that hot hand. They are playing at the highest level, these kids. That is incredible. One second on the shot clock, and Shepard nails the triple. It's a 10-point lead for Kentucky. With cross. Ziegler, the running one-hander, goes. They've been doing a good job emptying that side, but late coverage with the blue shirts. 77-69, Wildcats. 3.32 to go in the second half. Shepard being hounded by Ziegler. Timer is down to 12. Dillingham, 1-4 set, goal to the goal. Missed it, rebounded by Ziegler. Nice job by James Tippett. Gets into it quickly here, the bounce, Adu, extra. James, the senior, missed it from three-point territory. And how about the blockout by Dillingham on Maybach there, excuse me, Mayshack. You thinking about your cards? <laughs> like, no fatigue on either side right now. 77-69, Kentucky leads it with 2.47 to go in regulation. Same set, that little floppy look they love to run. Reeves busy. Screen, a V set, Shepard, a den. Yes, guys. Reed Shepard, ice in his veins. I tell you, he is so clever. Besides, 80 to 69, Kentucky. James can't hit the three. Rebound. Shepard got his hands on it. Controlled by Tennessee. Connect. Hits from the outside. And a timeout call. 40 points for Dalton Connect. How about the fake, the recovery, and still have balance. This kid. It... Full court pressure once again, and they lose three people on the perimeter. And uh, Wanger on the floor now, giving Dillian a little bit of a blow. Shepard is 7 of 9 from downtown. He came in 51% from three-point territory. And most of those threes have been off the bounce. And he's not a, a rattler of the rim. It's purely he got caught up in his hip. He did. One of the travel stakes he's made here today. Reed Shepard was looking to the corner, and then the ball just got stuck for a moment on his body. So Tennessee takes over down by nine. Two twelve to go. He'll be back quickly. Ziegler has a screen from Adu, uses the second screen. Pick and pop jumper. Doesn't go for nice the oh, oh, oh. Smart. A little late, I thought. On Yenso. Goaltending. What a deterrent that kid is. We're gonna take a look at it. Yeah, I've been impressed with him. Up they've committed. Nine team fouls, so next one puts Kentucky in the double bonus. And the Wildcats with possession, possession arrow does favor Tennessee. And don't let Shepard get it. He's going to give it. And a steal! Ziegler lays it in! Good job defensively. Alert. And they got a foul, too. So a chance at a three point play with 47.1 on the clock. It looked like Shepard slipped right here as he, he received did. the ball. And tried to get it back to Wagner, but once again, Ziegler in the right place at the right time gets fouled. And Shepard, yes. And that's it for DJ Wagner, his fifth foul. So Dillingham will check in. Ziegler now with 16 points. He has attempted just one free throw, and he missed it. Now you got to get ready. Face guard. Five-point game. Try and force it to the corner, get that trap with the baseline, the sideline. John Calipari is going to make a change here as Fierro checks in, and he replaces Onyenso. For a moment, they had six players on the floor. But maybe five guys that can handle the basketball and handle make free throws, right? Yes. Shepard gets it in. Dillingham. Perfect spot. They got a timeout out of it. That's what you want, though. You rotate the middle, then we come up with a steal. Just keep plugging away. Got to stay out of the corners, and you got to get the ball moving and come meet the pass. You have to be strong with the ball in these situations, especially against Tennessee. 
Shepard is the trigger man once again. Five point game with 45.7 to go. Right. Shepard bounces in for Reeves. Dillingham. And that ball is tipped and stolen. Meshack feeds. Ziegler will get the block. It's okay. Shepard. Vescovy inside and a foul. It's going to be James going to the line with 31.4. I mentioned the box he has had this, this season. Look at this. You think he got an open look? The timing. Boy, the impact he has. Fingerprints all over it. Well, what about the pressure from Tennessee? I mean, forcing turnovers. You have five guys out there on the court right now for Kentucky unable to match this pressure. Two turnovers in a row and two opportunities at the line for Tennessee. And they're really not looking for anybody to post up. Once you get that inbounds pass in that corner, right away somebody should be at the top of the key as an outlet. And now it's a 7 nothing run for Tennessee. James can... Tack on another here with 31.4 on the clock. Well, they have Shepard taking it out because he's such a great passer. I'd rather him catch it. The one possession game, man. Yeah. 84, 81. Wildcats pressure on Shepard. Needs help. Reeves is there. Reeves trying to in 10 seconds. Turnover, Kentucky. An unusual right there, Antonio Reeves, the senior fifth-year guy, not calling a timeout in that situation. Three possessions in a row, Kentucky unable to get the ball into the front court. Well, all guards and nobody really looking to post up other than Mitchell in the middle. It was a dangerous pass right here, but no question about the violation. Oh, he's got to see it and dribble it by his guy quickly. He had a live dribble there. Yeah. Three consecutive turnovers for Kentucky. They now have 16 on the day. Connect back in the game, resting after those last three defensive possessions for Tennessee. I'd like to see him drive it if he gets it. Volunteers are down by three. They've rallied here. Vescovy, give it up. James for the time. No good. Rebound knocked out of bounds. Adu touched it last. They're going to look, but I think you got it right, Bird. Tennessee had a clean shot. To tie it up. And he did. Jen Free once he passes it in. Once again, it's Shepard as the inbounder for Kentucky. 10.7 to play. Dillingham is very quick to get free. Explosive. Got to give it once he gets it. Adu defending. Get it in. Got to forget Mitchell. It. Now it's Reeves. Six seconds. Dillingham is fouled. Uh, should have given it on the sideline. 5.9 on the clock, and it will be Rob Dillingham going to the free throw line, where he's three of three. Trying to make this a two possession game. Rick's got some shooters coming in. Rims out. Connect back in. This is the one that changes everything. 5.9 on the clock. Some fans left. It's still loud, and Dillian is dealing with it. it. 85-81 Kentucky, 5.9 to play. And smart substitution there by Cal. Let your defense get set here. Obviously, defend token defense, and you don't want a foul. You see Shepard waving everybody, no foul. Get it in, James for Ziegler. Four seconds, three seconds, three on the way. Front of the rim, and it's over. Kentucky playing at a really high level down the stretch of the season, heading into the postseason. Dangerous. Come